Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Sonic Multiverse. Let's waste no time and jump right in. Metal Sonic and Metal Knuckles waited for their master to return. They had both failed to stop the Doctor's enemies. Metal Knuckles had failed to protect the Scepter of Darkness, leading to it being broken open and sending Shadow Rouge and Tails Doll into parts unknown. And as for Metal Sonic, he failed to stop Sonic and Tails from rescuing Princess Elise. They were expecting Dr. Eggman to return to berate them. But as his Eggmobile landed, he had a grin on his face. The pair were surprised by this. Ho, 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 ho. And here I was almost ready to throw in the towel. But I guess things really do work out in the end. Ho, 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 ho. The pair were confused. Metal Knuckles spoke up. Uh, what, what are, are you, you talking, talking about, about uh, Lord Eggman? Well, Metal Knuckles, I was on my way to defeat Sonic and reclaim the princess. But when I got there, some gray hedgehog had already defeated him. Really? Why? Pah, <laughs> who knows? He was rambling some nonsense about the future. Quite frankly, I don't care. All I had to do was swoop in and get what was mine. Isn't that right, Princess? Princess Elise timidly arose from the Eggmobile, silently nodding her head. Metal Sonic, lead a humbled guest to her holding cell. Metal Knuckles, I have a message I want you to carry on. As the robotic echidna was given his instructions, Metal Sonic took Elise by the arm leading her towards her holding cell. She glared at the steel imposter of her hero. You won't get away with this. As she stepped into her holding cell and Mel Sonic turned away, he simply stated, I'm sorry. After a moment of silence, Metal Sonic stomped away to fulfill his next order. He didn't like what he has to do, but he was made to obey his master. What else could he ever be useful for? Elsewhere, on the other side of Soliana, Sonic and Tails were responding to a disturbance. They heard civilians whisper about a red echidna destroying parts of the shipping yard. At first, they thought it might be their friend having a bit of a temper tantrum, but quickly, they realized this wasn't Knuckles. Huh. <laughs> Took you goody two-shoes long enough to get here. I was starting to get worried. Metal Knuckles? Huh, so you want to fight? Okay, bring it on. Ho ho ho, you're a Mobian after my own heart, Sonic. It would be sweet to clobber your face into the ground, but I'm here to deliver a message. The machine launched a tablet from its chest plate. Sonic caught it as a holographic message from Dr. Eggman began to play. Sonic the Hedgehog, if you ever want to see the princess again, you will bring me your Chaos Emerald. Meet me at my base in White Acropolis. Oh, and don't worry, my soldiers will be waiting for you. Ho 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 ho! Sonic turned back to the Red Robot. Guess Eggman didn't trust you enough to take the Chaos Emerald from us. Ho oh, ho, watch your tone, Hedgehog. If I wasn't on strict orders to keep you alive, I'd... You'd what? Another red echidna appeared from a warp ring. This being the true Knuckles the Echidna. Sonic smirked. Well, Metal Knuckles, now you can tell your boss all three of us will be coming. Recognizing he was outnumbered, Metal Knuckles flew off, heading back to White Acropolis. With the badnik gone, Sonic turned to the original Knuckles. Well, you took your time. Shut up. I got your message, now let's just get this done. The longer I'm away from Mobius, the longer the Master Emerald is defenseless. Knuckles is right, Sonic. Come on, let's get moving. With that, the trio headed out for White Acropolis. After battling their way through Eggman's army, Team Hero arrived at the center of White Acropolis, with Dr. Regman, Elise, and Metal Sonic looking down at them from the Observer's Bay. Well, 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 you actually made it. Now, 
place the Chaos Emerald in the center of the room, and no one gets hurt. Sonic knew this was a trap. Eggman had used a similar tactic back on the Ark. But with Elise in danger, he had no choice but to play along. Sonic relinquished the Emerald. Eggman cackled. Fools, you sealed your fate. Now, allow me to introduce you to Metal Sonic's latest upgrade. The chaos energy flowed into Metal Sonic as he glowed a purple magenta before the energy erupted into the room surrounding the heroes. Ten years ago, the most brilliant minds of Soliana created the Solaris Project. I, of course, have improved upon their designs. Once I have all seven Chaos Emeralds, I will be able to use Metal Sonic to conquer all of time. But one will be just enough to get you out of my hairs for good. So goodbye, my worthy enemies. Thank you for playing along so well. <laughs> Metal Sonic looked down at his enemies. He was finally doing what he was created to. Defeat Sonic and serve the Eggman Empire. So, why did this, all of this, feel wrong? Metal Sonic looked down at his adversaries. No, innocence in harm's way. Metal Sonic wondered, why did that feel familiar? I am Metal Sonic, a highly engineered artificial copy of Sonic the Hedgehog, created by Dr. Eggman. You may have created me, but I wish to be a hero like him. So whenever you threaten the lives of the innocents, know that I will be there, Eggman. You can count on it. This is who I am. Metal Sonic, now remembering his chosen purpose, looked down at his enemies. No, his allies. He knew what he had to do. I will protect. Metal Sonic leaped into the generator. Eggman was shocked. Metal, what are you doing? Metal Sonic knew it was too late to stop the Solaris project, but at the very least he could protect the heroes once they arrived in their new destination. In a flash of light, all four figures disappeared, only to reappear in the same room they disappeared from in the first place. Team Hero looked around seeing Metal Sonic standing alongside them. Are you unharmed? Sonic smiled. Better for seeing you. Good to see you're back to normal, Metalhead. Yes, it is. Sonic couldn't tell, but he felt as if Metal Sonic would be smiling if he could. So, I guess the Doc's machine failed. Since we're still here and... Sonic looked around. The room was rusted, destroyed and Eggman and Elise were nowhere to be seen, nor was the Chaos Emerald. Knuckles stood up, rubbing his head. What is this place? To the group's surprise, a fifth voice rang out to answer the Echidna. Well, that's quite simple, Nucky. Shadow and Rouge stood above the pair. Welcome to the end of the world. The two government agents led the rest outside, to see a city engulfed in chaos and flames. Sh Shadow, what is this place? The future, far removed from our timeline. Well, then we have no problem. Metal Sonic here's just been upgraded to time travel. Correction, I can control time if I possess all seven chaos emeralds. Without any, I cannot. If this timeline's version of the original Solaris project was still operational, I could use my own power along with one Chaos Emerald to time travel. But even so, we possess none. So, you need Chaos Emeralds, do you? Well, although I'll manage fine on my own, I think you goody two-shoes could use some help. Luckily, I think we have just the guy. A third figure emerged from the shadows, with a glowing jewel on its forehead. Hello, heroes. Long time no see. <laughs> Metal Sonic glared at the Tails doll. You, you infected me, turned me against my friends, and forced me to serve our creator once more. Come on, brother. 
I was just following orders. Besides, that was 200 years ago. Stop bringing up the past. I understand your hesitations, Metal Sonic. But with his built-in radar, he's our best bet of finding the Chaos Emeralds in this destroyed world. Besides, if he wants any chance of returning to his timeline, he'll cooperate. Won't you, Tails Dull? Uh, yes, sir. With that, the group split up. Shadow and Rouge made up one team, while the rest looked for other Chaos Emeralds around Crisis City. And this is where we'll be leaving this what-if for right now. In case you guys don't see me again until the new year, Happy New Year, and see you in 2024. I'm ComicFan13, and I hope you have a good day.